Welcome, welcome. Well, it's the holiday season, so I have to be more festival this time of year. So let's check out a Christmas special. And for today's video, I'm going to review Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soap. Frosty the Snowman is a 1969 animated TV special produced by Rankin Bass Productions. It is the first special to feature the character of Frosty the Snowman, and it is based on the Waller E. Rollins and Steve Nelson song of the same name. So without further ado, let's check it out. The special begins with a narrator voiced by Jimmy Durante in his final film role, and he also sings the opening song. So we open on a schoolhouse on Christmas Eve for some reason. Seriously, they're in school during winter break. And their teacher, voiced by June Foray, last seen on this show in How the Grinch Stole Christmas. She brings a failed magician called Professor Hinkle, voiced by Billy DeWolf. He unsuccessfully performs some tricks, but he does show that he can make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Upon being dismissed, the children go outside to play in the snow, and they build a snowman who they named Frosty. Meanwhile, Professor Hinkle chases his rabbit, Hocus Pocus, who has his supposedly magic hat, and his hat is blown away by the wind and is caught by one of the students named Karen. Wait a minute. Karen? Anyways, Karen here is voiced by Susan Davidson, and she puts the hat on Frosty's head, which brings him to life. And Frosty is voiced by Jackie Vernon, a.k.a. the King of Deadpan Comedy. I was getting so heavy, I had to let out the shower curtain. <laughs> I'd step on a scale, the card would read, come back later, alone. <laughs> Anyways, Professor Hinkle comes back to reclaim the hat because it is magical and wants to profit from it. And he even declines that he saw Frosty come to life. You silly children believe everything you see. When you're grown up, you'll realize that snowman can't come to life. What an asshole! And we cut to the opening credits. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale they say. Later, the rabbit Hocus Pocus switches the hat with a Christmas wreath and brings it to the children. They use the hat on Frosty again, and he is immediately amazed by his newfound life. Could I really be alive? I mean, I can make words. I can count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Well, I can count to five. <laughs> a little confused, but he got the spirit. And Frosty dances around with the children. However, when the temperature rises, Frosty fears that he will melt unless he can get himself to the North Pole. So the children suggest putting him on a train to get him there. And they parade through town on the way to the train station, shocking several of the townsfolk. And you may have noticed that, unlike the other Rankin-Bass Christmas specials, they don't use stop motion here. The film was instead animated by the Japanese animation studio Mushi Productions, the same studio that animated Astro Boy and Choppy and the Princess, aka Princess Knight. So from a certain point of view, Frosty the Snowman is technically an anime. NANI! So why don't we make it a little more anime? <laughs> Anyways, they arrive at the train station, but they don't have any money for tickets. So Hocus, Frosty, and Karen secretly board the freight train's refrigerator car, while Professor Hinkle plots to reclaim the hat. I must get that hat back. Think nasty. Think nasty. Think nasty. 
that is pretty sus. As the train continues northward, Frosty notices that Karen is getting colder, and when the train stops, the group search for a place to warm up Karen, while Professor Hinkle follows them. By nightfall, Frosty, Karen, and Hocus struggle through the forest where Hocus convinces the forest animals, who were decorating Christmas trees, mind you, to build a campfire for Karen. Wow, who knew forest animals can make fire? However, Frosty fears that the fire will not be enough for Karen, so he decides to look for Santa Claus, who he assumes can save Karen and bring him to the North Pole. While Hocus searches for Santa, Professor Hinkle arrives, and Karen and Frosty book it. You see, Frosty, since he was made of snow himself, was the fastest belly whopper in the world. Luckily, they stumble on a greenhouse to warm up Karen, only for Professor Hinkle to arrive and lock them both inside. Then, Hocus finds Santa, who is voiced by Paul Freese, last seen on this show in King Kong Escapes. The rays of Element X are strong. Hocus leads Santa to the greenhouse, but by the time they arrive, they are too little too late. <laughs> and you know what I have to do here? Anyways, Santa explains to Karen that Frosty is made out of Christmas snow and will return every winter. He then opens the door and the winter wind reassembles Frosty. And just as they are about to put the hat on Frosty's head, Professor Hinkle intervenes and Santa threatens him. If you so much as lay a finger on the brim, I'll never bring you another Christmas present as long as you live. Oh, that's not fair. Hey, it was either that or a visit from Krampus. And trust me, you don't want a visit from Krampus. Then Hinkle runs home to write apologies, and Santa brings Frosty to life. They both drop off Karen at her house, and Santa takes Frosty to the North Pole. And the credits roll with Frosty leading a parade with the children, Hocus, the narrator, and the rest of the townsfolk. Then Frosty boards Santa's sleigh and they fly off to the North Pole. I'll be back on Christmas Day! Why don't we make this ending a bit more anime-like? And that was Frosty the Snowman. The film was a commercial and financial success after airing immediately after the fourth showing of a Charlie Brown Christmas. And from then on, the special has aired annually for the CBS Television Network's Christmas season. And TV Guide ranked it as number nine on its 10 best family holiday specials list. So now, what do I think of it? Well, I love it. The songs are great, the animation's pretty decent, and Jackie Vernon is iconic as Frosty the Snowman. Hell, he even shows up in the sequels to voice him again. And the special even brings a heartwarming feeling to my cold black heart. So in other words, I highly recommend this special. I give it 5 out of 5 Frosties. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay safe out there. Goodbye. I've been meaning to take off a little weight anyway.